Welcome back again. Uh, last class we have studied about half wave rectifier, right? From semiconductor devices. So we have studied one LAQ nuclear reactor from nuclear chapter and uh, one L, uh, SAQ from semiconductor devices. That is uh, half wave rectifier we studied, right? So today two more uh, SAQs be there from uh, semiconductor devices chapter. We'll study that SAQs from that semiconductor. Then we'll uh, proceed to next chapter. So what is that next SAQ from semiconductor means? The question is explain full wave rectifier. full wave rectifier and what is rectification and what is rectification <clears throat> explain full wave rectifier and what is rectification this is one more SAQ from semiconductor devices so what is that means <clears throat> so Similar to the half wave rectifier, the full wave rectifier is there. That means full wave rectifier is convert both positive and negative off cycle into output DC. Correct. So first of all, what is rectification? We'll see. What is rectification? What is rectification? Basically, rectification is the process of converting AC into DC, AC input into DC output, that is rectification, conversion of AC into DC output, we call it as rectification, already I told that is alternating current and DC current or EMF will be present, from that alternating EMF or current we are converting into DC, direct current or direct EMF. So in that only process, last class we studied half of the input of AC is converted into DC output. But here we convert will full wave rectifier, full. That means what is rectification? First of all, conversion of AC into DC, AC into DC, okay? Then what is full wave rectifier? So what is full wave rectifier? Full wave rectifier. What is full wave rectifier means? Full wave name itself we can say that. That is in input of the alternating uh, input, both positive cycle and negative cycle will be there. In that full wave rectifier, it will convert full that is positive and negative off cycle both positive and negative off cycle will be converted into dc output dc output that means both positive and negative both cycle will be converted into output that is it converts both positive and negative of cycles into DC output, DC output. It convert both positive and negative off cycles into DC output. This is what we call full wave rectifier. So <clears throat> what is full wave rectifier circuit diagram we'll see now. So what is full wave rectifier? Circuit diagram first we'll see. Diagram. How it convert both off cycle, positive and negative off cycle into output. So in full wave rectifier, basically it has two PN junction diodes will be present along with a transformer. 
but in little bit changes as compared to in half wave rectifier half wave rectifier only one single diode is there but full wave rectifier two diodes will be there and these two diodes are connected along with in a rect uh, transformer but transformer secondary coil the secondary coil is connected to the center tapped key center tapped key or we can say in full wave rectifier center tapped transformer will be used center tapped transformer will be used so that means the diagram if you take this is input and this is transformer and the secondary coil of the transformer now and this is the diode one d1 and this is the diode 2 d2 along with one center tapped transformer the output of the full wave rectifier is connected to center tap transformer like this center tapped transformer clear so here center tap transformer is there this is input and here we'll take output rl is called load resistor and it is called output see now <clears throat> the input how we are supplying and this is called center tap key So how it is work, how it is work, this uh, full wave rectifier, how it is convert AC into DC mean. First, I'll take input. What, do, what kind of input I'm supplying? So input, we are supplying this one. Input, we are giving positive as usually negative, positive, negative, positive, negative cycles we are giving. This is input. Then how we are getting the output you see here output you see this is output wave format in the full wave rectifier simple the working first we'll see then after i will say what are the points we should we need to write in the answer sheet now look here when this positive cycle is enter into input of the full wave rectifier when this positive off cycle is enter so this diode one is set to be in forward bias and diode 2 will be set to be in reverse bias. One diode is in forward and other diode will be in reverse. And we know that the diode is in forward bias. It allows the current. The diode is in reverse bias, which do not allow the current. That means here we have a two diodes. When the positive cycle is entered as an input, then this diode 1 will be in the forward bias. So whatever the current from this forward bias diode, it allows and its current flows to the RL. That means we will get the output from RL resistor or load resistor. That means indirectly we will get an output through D1 and D2 is in reverse bias. D2 will not allow any current. So that means D2 will not provide any output. D2 not provide any output. So finally we'll get an output which is from D1, D2 will not provide any output. Similarly, when the negative cycle is enter, negative cycle is enter as the input, then D1 will be in the forward reverse bias and D2 will be in the forward bias. Now the D1 will be in the reverse bias and D2 will be in the forward bias. So due to that, what happened? The diode which is in reverse bias will not allow the current. The diode which is in forward bias which allows the current. So now the D1 will not provide any output. But from current for, uh, allowing the D2, so current flowing through D, D2, which also will get output from RL resistor or load resistor. That means in this situation, we will get an output that is negative cycle again converted into positive. 
but this time it done by a diode D2, not D1. Okay. So we got an output of negative cycle also converted into positive, but that is by D2. Okay. Now, similarly, again, next positive cycle is entered. Again, same process. D1 will be in forward. D2 will be in reverse. D1 will be in forward and D2 will be in reverse. And again, we'll get an output from RL through D1 diode. That means again, we got an output again. That is D1. Next, again, negative up cycle is entered here. So again, D1 will be reverse. D2 will be in forward bias and D2 will allow the current so that we will get an output. That means again, we'll get in a negative cycle convert into positive. That is D2. So, so on. So positive cycle D1 will convert negative cycle D2 will be convert. So overall, we will get an output. Both positive and negative cycles are converted into positive side. Both negative and positive cycles are converted into positive sides of the output. So that means both positive become positive only negative become also positive. That means all are positives we are getting in output and input positive, negative, positive, negative. That is the reason it is alternating and this is direct. This is alternating current and this is direct current. So this is the way the AC convert into DC. Full both positive cycle and negative cycle is converted into DC. Clear now? This is working. Okay, then efficiency of this full wave rectifier because of two diodes, each diode will provide an efficiency of 40.6, 40.6. So two diodes of so both the cycles are converting into positive cycle. So together the full wave rectifier efficiency will be 81.2, 40.6 plus 40.6, 81.2 percentage is the efficiency of the full wave rectifier clear now so this is the working of full wave rectifier this you need to cover the points in the answer will be rectification definition you need to write and what is full wave rectifier also we need to write whether only half cycle will convert or only both half cycle both half and uh, both positive and negative cycle will convert so you have to write it convert both positive and negative half cycle into output DC. Okay. And then after circuit diagram with the help of center tapped key, RL load rest E1, D2. And this is input format. This is output format. We have to write waveform. Then the point should be included in the working of full wave rectifier. What are the points we should include means? Look here. So I explained the working. So now I will see or what are the points we need to write under working. Working. First, when positive half cycle half cycle given as input the diode D1 gets into forward bias forward bias and D2 gets into reverse bias. D2 gets into reverse bias and current allows by D1 diode and we get output from RL and D2 in this situation, D2 will not provide any current. 
or not provide any output because G2 is in reverse bias. And next, when negative half cycle given as input D1 gets into reverse bias and D2 gets into forward bias. Forward bias. And we get D2 is in forward bias means D2 will allow the current and D1 will be stop the current. That means D1 will not provide any output, but D2 will be provide output. So D and we get output from RL through D2 diode. So first when positive cycle is entered, D1 will be allows, ne D2 will not allows. Negative cycle is entered, D1 will not allow, D2 will allow and this process will be continuous and this process will be continuous. So and so on, that process will be continuous. Whenever positive enter will be, D1 will convert it as a output. And whenever negative is entered, D2 will be converted as a output. But every time, every time one of the diode will be in the forward bias, other one is reverse bias. So that is one of them is in forward bias is there. That means any one of the diode will allow the current. That means we will get an output in every half cycle, whether it is positive or whether it is negative. But every cycle, every cycle will get a output. That's the reason both positive and negative off cycles are converted as output DC form. So in this way, we can explain and these are the points we should include in the off wave and full wave rectify. Clear now? So this is the second question from semiconductor devices. And this is uh, the whatever we discuss under half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier independently they will ask either two different type of question explain what is rectification and explain the define rectification and explain the half wave rectifier the answer last class we discuss and define rectification what is explain the working of full wave rectifier this is answer now the third question they will ask distinguish between half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier distinguish between half wave and full wave. What is that half wave, full wave? This same thing, what we have learned in the half wave and full wave, the common difference between them. What are the difference between them half wave and full wave? We need to write. Okay. So is it clear? What is full wave rectifier? Everybody clear? So now we will see the distinguish between full wave and half wave rectifier. It is same. If you study these two questions are clearly, then automatically the distinguish between half wave and full wave easily we can write. What is that? We'll see now. Okay. So on it is. Next question is. Distinguish between off wave and full wave rectifier. Distinguish between off wave and full wave rectifier. That is, what is the difference between off and full wave rectifier? We need to Right. Simple. Whatever we learn in half wave and full wave separate separately, that we have to write as a point by difference we need to write. That's it. Difference we need to write.
see look here so what are the different basically we have half wave you know name itself it will convert only half positive cycle only positive cycle half cycle only will convert full wave rectifier will convert both a positive and negative half cycle it will convert and basically half wave rectifier only one diode will be used full wave rectifier will be used two diodes correct so let us see the dif uh, difference first half wave rectifier and here full wave rectifier difference so first difference it converts only positive half cycles into output dc correct so same point here what we need to write it converts both positive and negative half cycles into output dc okay first point first difference samajh mein aaya it convert only a positive half cycle it will convert both a positive and negative half cycle into dc second difference it used only one diode only one diode but it uses two diodes two diodes okay the output format of this one the output wave format of this one the output wave format here discontinuous wave form discontinuous output or discontinuous positives will get because one after one absent will get here but here continuous positives will get continuous positive what is here discontinuous positives that is like this gap gap plus 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 when negative cycle is come discontinuous here continuous positives that is positive 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 no gap okay here efficiency efficiency low that is 40.6 percentage here we can write efficiency high that is 81.2 percentage 81.2 percentage is it clear so these are the difference we need to write between half wave and full wave rectifier clear once again you see it convert only positive half cycle it convert both positive and negative half cycle into dc it use only one diode it will use two diodes and discontinuous positive output will get but continuous positive output will get efficiency low efficiency high these are the points we need to include in the half wave and full wave rectifier difference clear now so about half wave rectifier the full wave rectifier and their difference is it clear everybody so now one more question from this chapter it is related to logic gates related to logic gates we'll see now
that is explain the nand gate and nor gate with the help of the truth table right what is nand and nor gate and write their truth table write their truth table that is a question so we will see now what is nand gate and not gate nor gate nor gate first question you see what is or what are what are nand and nor gates and write their truth table okay truth table simple question only it is also a very simple question this came in uh, last previous years also came many times so from semiconductor devices this four question you study very well so that you can attempt one question from here definitely one question compulsory will come see first what are gates gates means what gate so, you know general gate gate means something will stop something will be allowed when you open the gate somebody are allowing or close the gate means it not allows that means here nand gate and nor gate gate only it is also so gate what we will do in generally daily life what it will do gate is open means it allowing close means not allowing so similarly in logic gates also these are the gate works under some logical operations some logical operations so based on that logics so you are giving inputs and maybe may or not be will get an output based on that logic or based on that logical operations and in this logic gates only two inputs will be present only two inputs will be present those two inputs are one is called low other one is called high generally low is denoted by zero high is denoted by one high is denoted by one okay and the second we need to remember here there are three basic operations we have in the logic gates one is called dot other one is called plus last one is called inverse inverse operation dot means simple multiplication that is and operation a and d a and d operation we call a and d or means or plus means or an inverse means not inverse means not correct now this zero and one only the inputs we have zero and one only we have inputs then based on the operation logic operation we have and or and inverse and or and inverse so and means dot operation this can be simply we can write just i'm explaining no need to write everything this is in your answer sheet i will explain what the things we need to write in the answer but to understand the entire concept i justly briefly explaining the what is and and what is or and what is not okay for this answer no need to write everything on this one just for understand the concept of and and not i am explaining this and is the dot operation just now i told it is so 0 dot 0 0 only 1 dot 0 will be 1 only 0 dot 1 also 0 only 1 dot 1 is 1 but a dot means and means input we are giving two if both inputs are one or both inputs are high then output will be high both inputs are one then output will be one any one of the input is zero then output compulsory zero compulsory zero then or gate or gate again again it has two inputs minimum two inputs will be there in that 0 plus 0 will be 
वन प्लस जीरो इज वन जीरो प्लस वन विल बी वन एंड फाइनली वन प्लस वन इज नॉट टू बिकॉज हाई इज ओनली वन ईयर वन प्लस वन इज ऑल्सो वन दैट मीन्स इन ऑर गेट वन 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 थ्री टाइम्स वी गॉट वन only the or gate will be low output will be low or zero it is possible only when all the input should be low all the input should be low then output will be low any one of the input is one then output will be one dekho any one yahan pe one hai yahan pe bhi one hai any one at least one hona chahiye so it will output will be one clear so this is and gate any all the input should be one and or gate all any one of the input should be one then not it is inverse function inverse means what whatever you are giving input quite opposite output will get input you are giving low then output automatically high then input you are giving high then output will be low that is inverse you are giving zero then inverse will be one then one inverse will be zero clear this is basic operation but to understand the nand gate and nor gate i said so now we'll enter into actual answer of this question okay simple we have two inputs that is one is low other one is high zero means low one means high two inputs and gate and or gate minimum two inputs will be there or more than also present but in two minimum in minimum inputs we can give the combination both are low both are high one i one low one i another low like that combination we can give according to that logical operation dot operation like this will be there plus operation like this is there clear now look here the answer for that question you see what is this first nand gate what is nand gate we need to explain and it with the truth table truth table is nothing but a tabular column in which it is representing what are the inputs we are giving and what we are getting output that entire thing we are showing in a tabular data that is only called truth table what all truth table so nand gate nand gate is simple it is a combination of and and not gate and and not gate it is in a combined gate or combination gate combination of and gate and not gate not gate that means and gate is followed by not gate or say the output the output of and gate is connected to input of not gate okay and just now we have seen that what are the basic condition under which when is the output is i or low for and gate we have seen and uh, not get also we have seen input you giving something then quite opposite to that we'll get an output now we'll see the diagram of the nand gate because it is a combination of and and not that is and gate followed by the not gate and gate is followed by the not gate that means first we need to draw an and gate the output of the and gate we need to connect it to input of the not gate okay right now look here we are taking a input uh, terminal a and the terminal b two inputs i am taking and now we are taking that and gate i am drawing like this d symbol like and we are getting the output of this one we know this is a dot b and this input i am taking it as converted to the not gate this is not you know this is and gate and this is a not gate then output of this one will be simply whatever you are giving input that is quite opposite to that that is a dot b bar a dot b bar bar means opposite this is circuit symbol or shortly we can draw this circuit symbol like this also it is an and plus 1 0 
O like symbol that is called, it is a NAND gate directly. And it is A dot B all bar directly. All bar. Clear? Now the truth table of this gate you see. Truth table of this gate. Simple, what we need to draw? A and B we have to take. The next A dot B we need to take. And out opposite of A dot B we need to draw. That's it. That is the truth table. That means in truth table, what should we have to include? One is terminal A input, terminal B input. Then output of AND gate is A dot B. And the output of AND NOT gate is A dot B whole bar. This is the final output of the NOND gate. Correct? That is opposite to AND gate. You can say simply opposite to AND gate. So combination if you take, I'm taking 0, 0, both are zeros, AND gate 0. So AND gate opposite means 1. Correct? And 0, 1, 0, I'm taking it as 0. 1 dot 0 will be 0. 0 output will be inverse. 0 inverse will be 1. And 0, 1, I'm taking combination. 0 dot 1 will be again 0, but 0 inverse will be 1. Then 1, 1, both are 1, 1, I'm taking, but output of the AND gate is 1, but 1 inverse will be 0. This is truth table of NAND gate. We are getting the output is 1, 1, 1, 0. We are getting 0 output in NAND gate only when all the inputs are 1. All the inputs are 1, then output will be 0. Any one of the input is 0. Any one of the input is 0, then output will be 1. Output will be 1. So that means to get output 1, any one of input must be 0. And similarly, to get output 0, all the inputs must to be 1. Jitna inputs raega, utna inputs 1 hona chahiye to get output 1. But usme se jo inputs se jitna inputs se usme se ek bhi 0 hai. Ek bhi 0 ho, to output will be 1. Output will be 1. The condition to get output is 1 is any one of the inputs should be 0. And to condition to get the output is 0, the all the inputs should be 1. Clear now? This is NAND gate explanation, NAND gate, combination of AND gate and NOT gate, clear? The output of AND gate is connected to input of NOT gate, like this AND gate output I'm connecting to the input of NOT gate, finally output of the AND gate will be A dot B whole bar, and this is a normal based on that AND plus NOT, and now direct to NAND gate symbol is AND gate D symbol plus zero symbol, O symbol, O, like truth table is this way. Understood? Clear now? Now we'll see another NOR gate. What is NOR gate? Okay? See. Everybody clear with the NAND gate? Sometimes the same question can also ask for VSAQs also. Uh, draw the truth table of NAND gate and NOT gate. Direct truth table you can draw. Direct truth table. If they are asking for SAQ, we need to write something like what is definition, what is circuit symbol and etc. Okay? Clear now? You want to, those who are uh, joining live, they can take a snapshot so that a screenshot you can take, you can note down the, the notes. Okay? Next, NOR gate. 
nor what is nor it is a again combination of one more gate combination of or combination of or and not or and not gate that means simple the output of or gate is connected to input of not gate input of not gate same but their and gate here or gate that is only different now the circuit symbol you see as for this one first or gate two inputs terminal a terminal b and this is or gate you know and output of or gate you know a plus b and this output we have connecting to an not gate a plus b whole bar a plus b whole bar this we know it is or gate and this is a not gate or the direct symbol uh, for not gate is like this this is a plus b whole bar this is input a and input b this is direct nor gate symbol clear now now coming to the truth table of this one truth table of this gate what is truth table of this gate you see same we have to take terminal a terminal b a plus b and a plus b whole bar correct same different different combination of a and b will take and write the output of a plus b and a plus b whole bar output also will write see look here first we'll take both are zeros zero plus zero we know zero zero inverse will be one correct then i'm taking it as one zero one plus zero will be one you know one inverse will be zero and zero one zero plus one will be one and one inverse will be zero. Then again, last one, 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 one plus one, then one output will be zero. That means the output of NOR gate is three times zero we are getting and one time one we are getting. That means three times low and one times high we are getting. And that too, to get the one is the output, high as the output we want to get, all the inputs are zeros all the inputs are zeros then only we are getting output is one then to get the output is low or zero any one of the input any one of the input are zero sir zero is there zero is coming zero is there zero is coming sorry any one of the input should be one because here one is there zero here one is there zero one is there zero any one of the input is one then output will be zero in case of nor gate and all the inputs are zeros then output will be one just opposite to the or gate what is meaning here to get output one or high then all the inputs or all the inputs are zeros Correct. All the inputs are zeros, not one. Every input should be zero. Then similarly, to get output zero, that is low, then any one of input must to be one. high one or high any one of the input should must to be one to get the output zero this is nor gate about nor gate is it clear
what are non and nor gate and right through their truth table means that is just, just before i explain what is nand gate and this is nor gate clear yeah so students so today we have learned about the of full wave rectifier and full wave of wave rectifier difference and finally third question is nand gate nor gate is uh, what is nand gate and nor gate third question we have learned so last few minutes is left today class so those you have any doubts you can ask me uh, those you are any doubts you you can raise your hand those you have any doubt they can raise the hand excuse me sir hello students any doubt you can ask me or you can raise your hand sir i have one doubt excuse me sir anybody speaking you just yes, speak sir. loudly sir i have one doubt sir yeah tell me sir in this truth table that a plus b is mandatory or only we can write a plus b bar a plus b whole bar you can write directly include in the uh, truth table but if you write a plus b you don't any you won't get any confusion your doubt is this much whether you i need to include this one or not right yes sir ah that is optional only you can include or not directly a b and a plus b bar also you can write but that okay. can be get only when you by heart the question you will write like a b and a plus b whole bar but you write in the systematic order if you write a plus b also you will get a clear idea because a plus b or gate output you write into or operation then a plus b whole bar inverse of this we will write better okay. if you include this is one is more uh, it is in indirectly it gives more meaning but otherwise you if you don't want to include also it is okay Okay, but sir. my opinion if it is included it is good okay sir thank you sir. is it clear that doubt next any doubt students tell me any doubt not only whichever it is there on the board no need to ask this doubt only previously we have learned laq saqs right from that also if you have any doubt you can ask don't feel that uh, i need to ask the question related to whatever is there on the board anyway while i'm explaining the question i'm asking you that any doubts are there but specially last few minutes it is allocated to the doubts so in this moment you can ask the doubts anything whichever you have learned earlier or whichever i explain earlier don't no problem yeah sir, students any I doubt have, uh, sir if i have any doubt can i contact you personally or uh, i should wait for tomorrow tomorrow sir. tomorrow tomorrow you can collect the doubts if you don't have right now any doubt while preparing you have any doubt so note it down and tomorrow in the last 10 minutes i have uh, gives the doubt session you can ask tomorrow Okay, sir. Clear.
any more tomorrow onwards what we uh, what do you do uh, you prepare today because remaining half of the day you don't have any other classes i think maximum uh, the classes is over in the morning session only right so remaining half day you are preparing at home while preparing if you are getting any doubt in especially in physics underline that or note it down and by uh, tomorrow in the class end of the class i will give doubt session in that doubt session you can ask without any feel clear any more have doubts today so okay students will uh, end the session today's session will end here only so tomorrow any doubts are there you just uh, collect and and ask tomorrow clear not only tomorrow regularly you can ask okay right